Hello everyone. Please click to watch episode one before this video. The lecture hall will not be able to have a large number of students because of the social distancing policy. Therefore, this video is to help you capture your in-class lecture to enable non-face-to-face -face students to watch the recording. To achieve this, you need to create a Zoom meeting on HKU Moodle. Firstly, log into HKU Moodle with your portal. Go to the course, and then you can see navigation, course, then click into Zoom meeting. You need to add an activity name, for example, Workshop 101, and select pre configured tool as Zoom Meeting. Click Save and Return to Course, or Save and Display. I will click on Save and Display in this video to continue the setup. You need to click on Schedule a new meeting to arrange your Zoom sessions. We recommend you check every item on the setup page according to your teaching schedule and needs. For example, you can create recurring meetings, enable auto-recording and upload to the cloud, and add an alternative host if necessary. Don't forget to double-check the Zoom setup and save the change. Therefore, you can copy and share meeting invitation with students. If you would like to delete or edit your meetings, you can also make it on this page. When you get back to the dashboard page on HKU Moodle, you and your students can find the Zoom sessions and then click into it. You can see the recurring meetings as scheduled. You can click on the cloud recordings to check out all recording files online. You can start the meeting when in the live classes. To make sure you are capturing your lecture, please check if the auto recording and audio are on and the screen is sharing. When you end the meeting, it will usually take some time to upload the recording to the cloud. You will receive an email when the uploading is finished. The recording will be removed six months later. If you would like to back up the recordings, please download the files on this page. If you need any support, please contact ITS for help. Thanks for watching and see you next time.